welcome in our next online course in this module we have covered the uh, topic of evolution of mobile communication radio uh, communication fundamentals what the fundamentals of uh, mobile communication we uh, we know already in 1980 97 In 1897, Marconi first demonstrated radio's ability to provide continuous contact with ships sailing the English Channel. During the past 10 years, fueled by digital and RF circuit fabrication improvement and the new advancement in velocity technologies and others miniaturizations techniques. Uh, bill uh, uh, gave the um, movement to develop the mobile communication industries in a new phase the trend will continuous at a even greater pace during the following next decades so in this module i am going to uh, give a, a various uh, uh, mobile communication generation system like 1g 2g 3g 4g first first of all in first generation analog frequency modulation was used for speech transmission the first generation that is called first that is called the first first g this is stand for first generation we have used the spectrum multiple spectrum in this uh, first g generation the spectrum was divided into the multiple user using technique is called fdma which is also known as frequency division multiple access here the every user is provided the frequency band frequency band in fdma and every user is provided with a frequency band for the transmission for the transmission the problem was this first generation uh, of mobile communication system uh, was the uh, was uh, was it is in analog in nature so it was very difficult to protect the users information since the uh, security measurement uh, will not provide it therefore if we are use a receiver and tuned into a frequency we i may be i may be able to hear the entire uh, conversation uh, hence it was very difficult to provide the uh, provide the security measure therefore it is uh, uh, having the uh, problem to share uh, with the uh, fdma so another thing using in fdma that is the frequency multiple uh, access uh, every user is provided with a single frequency band to transmit if a user uh, does not want to use this frequency band uh, it's uh, it is best and here the spectrum Uh, in efficiency was seen in the first mobile uh, communication systems the various standard for the first generation yani uh, means first g developed the uh, it is the ntt and and tt ntt means uh, uh, ntt stands for the uh, nippon telephone and 
टेलीग्राफी इन जापान इन 1979. After that another standard is followed by that is called NMT. That is the Nordic Mobile Telephone System, which is used in Europe. in 1981 there is another method etax which stands for european total access cellular system in europe in 1985 the last standard is used in first g is known as amps it stands for advance mo advance mobile phone system in 1983 in north as well as south of america australia is also somewhere south east south east Asia and Middle East. We move in uh, on to a another uh, generation. That generation is known as. the that is 2g second generation second generation uh is uh, uh, having the uh, digital modulation technique it is having the digital modulation technique digital modulation technique here the digital modulation technique was used to transmit transmitting the voice messages the spectrum was divided among the many users using the technique is called cdma which is known as code division multiple access and there is one more uh, technique that is known as tdma tdma stand for time division multiple access technique in tdma every user sending messages on voice in time slots so uh, 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 so if uh, uh, therefore agar if we can see in cdma cdma every user is divided into the frequency using the specific code a digital modulation means converting the voice signal into the digital signals the digital signals is nothing but uh, we can say it is the uh, binary sequence that is ones or zeros because the signal was converted into digital signal encoding this the signal was uh uh begin uh, to possible 
and hence the message was encoded to using the various techniques and we all also uh, ensure the security the whereas the standard for the second generation 2g mobile system the first uh, standard was use because we uses the digital modulation formats and tdma and cdma multiple access techniques this various standards for the second generation mobile cdm uh, cdma system was used or the first standard is in the 2g the first standard 2g was gsm gsm global system mobile used tdma in 1990 1990 this global system mobile uh, is also uh, known as global system for mobile it's having the data rate 10 kilobytes per user it was used many part of the world gsm used tdma technology and dividing the spectrum among many users this technique was used in europe asia australia south america and some part of the us after that there is a another standard that is called is 136 it is stand for interim standard 136 the second standard also known as is 36 known as interim standard 36 this standard used tdma time division multiple access to divide the spectrum among the many users it uses in the north america digital cellular system this standard was used in north and south america and as well as australia which is also called as nadec third one is pdc pacific digital cellular pacific digital cellular uses tdma similar to the uh, is 36 in this standard pdc is known as pacific digital cellular and it is 
used the similar multiple axis technique that is TDMA. The last standard was is CDMA or interim standard ninety five you can write this as IS ninety five and CDMA. If we can summarize this this can be written as global system mobile this one second one is in dream standard third one is Pacific Digital Cellular Fourth one is Intreme Standard 95 And what are the standards? Standards are For the first one is GSM Second one is known as IS-36. Pacific is known as PDC. It is stand for 2G CDMA. One more thing is, if we summarize, the technology which we have used, this three, standards using the TDMA and this using the CDMA so you can see in evolution of mobile radio systems one thing is rapidly change the change in technology or this is the main uh, theme that's why we having the next generation is known as 3G 3G is standard was 3G or this is the important thing we if if, if you see this if you look at this look at this table so the main conclusion is in PDC the technology was used is TDMA to divide the frequency user spectrum among the many multiple users if we move from 2G to us to 2.5G in mobile communication system because in this system 2G system was capped as it is but when we move 2.5 it is add on it is add on or in 2G communication system a, because the very small data rate provided to send the text message 
द डेटा रेट इज ओनली टेन किलो वाइट पर सेकेंड फॉर वेब एप्लीकेशन और ब्राउजिंग द इंटरनेट द डेटा रेट इज रिक्वायर्ड मच हायर देर फोर इट वॉज नॉट सफिशियंट सो इट इज एड ऑन दैट ऑन द बेस स्टेशन एंड टू इंक्रीज द डेटा रेट द बेस स्टेशन एट दिस डेटा रेट गिवन टू दोबाइल स्टेशन सो इट इंक्रीज द डेटा रेट एंड ऑल्सो इक्विपमेंट दैट वी हैव मोबाइल मोबाइल फोन विच वी हैव यूज वेर देर इज रिक्वायर वन वन मोर रिक्वायरमेंट दैट इज द सॉफ्टवेयर अपडेशन सो द इट इज गिवन एज द सॉफ्टवेयर अपडेट सो दैट ऑल दिस अप्लीकेशन कुड हैव रन स्मूथली After this three standard, two point five G, two point five G, in this TDMA, two point five G, having three new high rate data rate standard that is state that is known as refer as high speed circuit. switch data that is the h is high speed circuit switch data for 2.5 g esm 2.5 g esm the one 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 more uh, uh, thing is is uh, going to developed in parallel that is known as gprs journal this is the 3 tdma standard which is included in 2.5g it is journal packet radio service for 2.5 gsm and is 136 after that 2.5g there is a further increase